60 second reviews. Woo -hoo. Today's review is Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island, also known as Super Mario World 2, is a 1995 platformer released for the Super Nintendo. The visuals are extremely unique and were purposefully created to look as if they were drawn with crayons. This was because Shigeru Miyamoto wanted the game to look as little like Donkey Kong Country as possible, and I personally feel like this was a great choice because even today, the visuals are gorgeous. The gameplay is some of my absolute favorite. The way that Yoshi moves is quite strange but feels so right, and if you've ever played Yoshi in Super Smash Bros., then you have a pretty good understanding of what I'm talking about. He also uses the eggs of his unborn children as his main method of attacking, which may be unconventional, but makes for some incredibly unique boss battles. And unlike traditional platformers, getting hit by an enemy doesn't kill you, but instead causes Baby Mario to fall off your back and float away. From here, you have X amount of time to retrieve him, and if you can ignore his screeches of terror, then you will find that this is an incredibly fun way to create an HP bar. And like most Nintendo first party titles, the music is astounding. From World 1 to the epic final fight with Baby Bowser, the music is lovable all the way through and easily stands up against any other Mario type. All in all, going back and playing Yoshi's Island was not something I will soon regret. The game is just as good as I remember and looks just as good as it did on day one. And that's why I give Yoshi's Island an A-, and it receives my seal of approval. It easily stands up to any Mario title to date if you can simply get over Mario's annoying crying. Hey guys, thanks for watching 60 Second Reviews, I hope you liked it, and feel free to click that subscribe button if you want to check out some of my other stuff, here's a couple videos for you to look at. And Yoshi's Island Told in 60 Seconds will be out at the end of the week, so be sure to keep your eyes out for that one.